All right, everybody. This is the next build I'm going to do in the series 172 scale. Uh, the two German army trucks from Pegasus. I did the kit review on all three of the ones that I'm going to be building for the 172 scale Hannibal II. Um, this shouldn't go too long in building because there's not much to the kit which I did the kit review on this like I said I'm going to try to see what I got in stock for the colors because I want to camouflage this that this truck here that will look cool this one is not so camouflaged but um, I might camouflage both of them I'll see what I have in stock because I usually use Tamiya acrylic but I've got other I got model master acrylic paints too I'm just gonna have to look in my stock see what I have for paints for these trucks so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this and I'll talk with everybody later alright everybody another update on the two German uh, 172 scale uh, army trucks that I'm working on primed everything up yesterday these little German guys the camera will pick it up but they got some nice detail for the scale of the the kit um, I don't know if I'm gonna airbrush them and then paint their face I'll have to work when I get around that I got all the tires everything's primered ready to go the two colors I picked one truck will have the German gray XF 63 Tamiya the other truck will be Model Masters it's acrylic it's um, dark uh, tan and I don't uh, the number on it's 4709 I think this will look good on one of the trucks and uh, the German gray will look good on the other truck and then I'll probably use some XF1 flat black Tamiya for the tires so I figured I'd give everybody a quick update on the two German trucks I'll try to get them in the spray booth today and hit the trucks with some paint and the back part of the truck um, it goes on the back side here I'll have to hit those two and then the light colored one that I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, camouflage so um, I'm gonna get started working on the two German trucks I figured I'd give everybody an update and I'll talk with everybody later alright everybody another update on the two German trucks uh, I painted them today the back here I used uh, Model Masters dark tan number 4709 the interior this truck and the chassis I used the Tamiya German Gray XF63 um, I think it turned out really awesome they look real cool um, this truck here and the canopy bags I'm gonna uh, camouflage this I'm not um, missed a little bit right there but the truck sits on top like so and so you're not going to see the little spots that I missed but the chassis on the bottom and the top here looks good I figured I'd give everybody a quick update on the two German trucks like I said side by side they, they look really nice they paint job turned out good on both of them So I'm going to let these both set overnight. I'll work on this one, camouflaging it tomorrow. Same with the backs. Figured I'd give everybody a quick update. And I'll talk with everybody later. Alright everybody, another update on the two German 172 scale army trucks. Yesterday I uh, painted the trucks. What I got to work on today is the tires. And the rims and the two German soldiers um, just to get everybody another look <coughs> closer detail of the truck I think it turned out really nice the paint job on both of them I got this one temporarily on the chassis and get a look at it one thing I failed in the kit review is this don't come with no windshields so I'm going to have to scratch build those. I don't know if I'm going to use canopy glue or some clear plastic that I have for the windows. Um, again the paint that I used on this truck back here is Model Masters 
dark tan, uh, number 4709. I think it's a nice color. Um, this one is the German Gray, which is XF63, Tamiya. It's all acrylic. The, the ty tires um, and the rims, I'm just going to paint those flat black, um, XF1. And then the two German Soldiers, um, closest to their color I can get is Dark Ghost Gray. Um, I think it's 4761. I'm going to get working on this today. Once I get all that done, I'll do another update and I'll talk with everybody later. Alright everybody, another quick note on the these two and the truck. I'm going to camouflage those today and I'm going to use a flat brown, which is uh, Tamiya XF10 for the camouflage. I'm going to do camouflage these two and this truck. I'm not going to camouflage this one, but those two I'm going to work on today and camouflage those. And uh, when that's all done, I'll update um, the video and I'll talk with everybody later. Alright everybody, another update on the two German trucks. I did the camouflage here. I think it turned out really cool on this one truck. As you can see here, nothing fancy. But I think it looks pretty cool. Also, camouflage this. Goes on the back of this truck over here. And that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm working, I painted all the rims. These rims I did in uh, German gray. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. This might look better on this one here. These rims over here I did in um, uh, dark tan. See right there, it looks pretty cool. I'm glad I got a steady hand. Here's the other rim right there. I'm also working on the German guys. I painted their hats with uh, the dark tan. I still need to work on them yet. What's sticking to my finger there? Everything's turning out pretty good with the two German trucks. Figured I'd give everybody a quick update and I'll talk with everybody later. Alright everybody, another update on the two German Army trucks, 172 scale. I applied a couple more coats to the rims on both trucks here um, with the uh, dark, is it dark tan for this truck and the German gray for this truck and then the guys here I add a little color to their uniform I think it turned out really good I just didn't want them all one color and then I did a dry wash with the dark tan hopefully the camera will pick that up I think it looks really cool um, then them just being all one color that dry wash turned out really good. I like the results. The face I used a flat flesh um, right here. It's XF15 Tamiya. And then um, the uniform jacket I used um, JN Green XF11. And I did the dry wash with the uh, um, dark tan. Uh, model masters acrylic and I like the results I also did the tire and on the truck you can see here also on this one here I'm going to continue working on this tonight I think I'm done with the, the two German soldiers I'm going to let them dry and then I'll probably start assembling the, the 
two trucks sometime tomorrow. I want to hit them with a dull coat first. Um, but I'll probably assemble everything first and then get the truck together and then hit it with a dull coat to protect the paint job and the camouflage. And then I'll probably use this canopy glue or I got some clear resin thin uh, sheets of uh, styrene that I can use probably for the windshield because these did not come with uh, any windshields um, but maybe the canopy glue will fit in, in there and work out just fine I'll have to see what I can do about that but uh, definitely want to put a windshield in there not sure about the side windows I'll think about that but the um, trucks turned out really nice especially this one that I did in camouflage this one over here with the German gray that turned out really nice too so I'm gonna cut it here for now and I'm gonna continue working on the two uh, 172 scale German army trucks and I'll talk with everybody later alright everybody another update on the two uh, German army trucks um, it's finished all I have to do now is assemble it yesterday and today I applied this doll coat to protect the paint and I doll coated everything and I'd like to thank Jack from Amazing Scale Modelers on Google Plus and Facebook for sending me this shop card um, the shop card is pretty cool um, I'd like to thank uh, all the model builders on Google Plus and Facebook and uh, thumbs up Jack for uh, sending me this card I think it's pretty cool um, getting back to the two army trucks they didn't come with windshields so I'm gonna either have to use canopy glue which might be a little too thick or this clear plastic that I have here it's um, 0 0.4 millimeters it's real thin may have to use that to uh, uh, make up some windshields for uh, these trucks I'm just not gonna leave them like that I gotta put a windshield in it but I figured I'd give everybody another update on the two German army trucks once those are all once they're all assembled I'll uh, film that segment too but I figured I'd give everybody a quick update I'll continue working on this and I'll talk with everybody later all right, everybody, another update on the two army trucks. Finished them. They're ready to be assembled. The thing I did today is I put the seats in both trucks and glued the arm, uh, two army soldiers in place. I'll give everybody another look before I seal this all up. Um, they look pretty cool. I know they should be all a uh, gray color, but I wanted to add some color to their uniform. And I think they turned out pretty cool. Same with this one over here. And they're going to be inside the truck. You're not going to see too much detail. I like the camouflage. How that all turned out. Especially on this truck here. It really looks really cool. Turned out really good. Same thing with this truck over here. The canopy in the back. I just camouflaged that. I'm going with the art work on the box. I uh, scratch built some windshields did the best I could um, I think it turned out alright I can live with that so I'm gonna cut it right here get them together and then I'm gonna temporarily hook up a diorama with the checkpoint that I did previously and I got that up on YouTube um, I'm gonna hook up the watchtower and the um, guard box and then have it all set up to where everybody can get a look at it and I'll cut it right here and I'll get back with everybody here in a minute alright everybody this is the final update on the two 172 scale German army trucks I already assembled the trucks and um, they look really cool I got the uh, guard box here and I also have the watchtower I'm gonna go ahead and hit some power to give that um, um, effect that I have for the watchtower and the guard box 
I got it set at 9 volts. I'm going to bump it up to 12. But this is uh, the part of the diorama that I'm doing. I think it looks pretty cool with the two trucks now done, complete. They look really cool. Um, didn't take me too long to build these two 120, 172 scale trucks. So I'm going to call this a wrap for the two uh, army, the two German army trucks. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I'd like to thank all my YouTube subscribers. And I'll talk with everybody later.